You asked for a calendar management video. Let's do it. You're going to be learning how to set up your calendar using Google Calendar. Effective calendar management strategies, time blocking, color coding, scheduling, and so much more. I'm not just going to be telling you, I'm going to be showing you. So if you have your laptop with you, that's the wise choice. All right, first I have something called my ideal year. I have something called my ideal month and my ideal week and i want to believe you do have same so ideal year is simply your goals for the year let's say your goals for 2024 and your ideal month is simply your goals or your plans is simply your goals for a particular month let's say the month of september and your ideal week is basically what your week looks like and what you plan to do in a particular week this is today's today's, today's, today's Today's Thursday, <laughs> yes. So I'm going to be using my ideal week for this video and I'm going to be planning my next week. Yeah. And we are going to be using Google Calendar. Because of its cross-platform compatibility, meaning you can use it on your desktop, you can view it on your mobile phone as well. Integration with other apps. It's free and easy to use. You can use it to plan your personal and professional life. That is why we are using Google Calendar. Are you ready to do this? So before we get started, I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for helping me grow this channel. Your likes, your views, your subscription means a lot to me. And if you're yet to join our growth tribe, kindly hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any video on the channel. So let's do this. So there are different ways you can access the Google Calendar. You can do that immediately you open your Google account or your Chrome. I love accessing it with my email. <laughs> okay, so once you open your email, you just come to these boxes here and scroll down. You see Calendar, you click on it the one i created but we are going to be creating a new calendar once you're here you click on this plus button you click on this plus icon here click on create new calendar you name your calendar i'm still going to call it some font let me call it some font ideal week two you can add a description if you want i don't <laughs> all right click on create calendar so the view we currently have now is the month view. If you want to change that, you can view just day by coming here. View just week. Week view. You can have the week view. You can have the month. You can have the year. So this is the year view. I am planning my week, so I'm just going to use the week view. What I do first is to impute my morning routine and my bedtime routine. All right, so when I want to wake up basically and when I want to go to bed, so I wake up by 5 30. All right, so you're just going to bring your arrow here where you have 5 a.m. Okay, and wake up, wake up, girl. So I'm just going to come here and key in 5 30. If I can't get the exact here, <laughs> I wake up at 5 30 and my morning routine lasts basically my morning routine is i wake up i study the word my devotion i skip outside my building when i'm back i have my bath and spend 20 minutes reading outside my balcony that's basically my morning routine before i start work by nine so that will last me up to let's say 8 30. okay so if you want to repeat this like all through the month you just come here where you have does not repeat you can click daily you can repeat this weekly you can say every weekday from monday to friday you repeat this but i just want to plan my week just one week for the sake of this video so i'm just going to click monday to friday here and click on save all right so since it's morning <laughs> since it's morning routine i want to change the color to all you need to do is just to right click and let's use a banana this event only no and then you click on this event and following events meaning it's going to change the color for monday through friday all right if you click just this event it's just going to change that of monday so click this and following events and here we have it hey they don't break so you can see that we're blocking from 5 30 here to 8 30. All right, now we've done with morning routine. I'm going to go to my bedtime routine. So I go to bed by the grace of God. <laughs> I go to bed by 10 p.m. 
why I'm saying by the grace of God is because God delivered me from insomnia. Yeah. <laughs> so I no longer sleep by 3, 4, or 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. I now sleep by 10 p.m. and all glory to God. So I go to bed by 10 p.m. But before that, I make sure I see my show. <laughs> I watch my show before I go to bed. So from 9, let's say 9 is bedtime. 9 is bedtime. So I'm going to change this to 9 to 10 p.m. Click on save. Oh, I didn't change. I didn't change this. Okay, repeat Monday to Friday save. All right, I'm going to change the color to graphite. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have morning and night. Now we know when we want to wake up. Now we know when we're going to bed. So every other thing has to fit in here and not spill over and not before. Okay, so I start work by 9 a.m. I'm just naming this anything that comes to my head. I beg. Okay. Work time, girl. I work from 9 to 7 p.m. And sometimes more than that. Don't judge me. I have a lot of things I'm doing as a solopreneur. So it's not my fault. So we're going to leave this at 9 p.m. to, let's just say, 6 p.m. Nine hours. Yes. So repeat this morning monday to friday and we save we have this locked so we are blocking 9 to 6 pm all right this is my work time within the space i can now key in the things i want to be doing all right let's say on monday is my filming day so i film from 9 a.m to i film for three hours 9 10 11 12 and sometimes four hours so from 9 to 1 p.m is filming so i'm going to duplicate this to keep in the next details filming okay i'll be filming by so i'll be filming from 9 I'll be filming from 9 to what did we see 1 p.m yes four hours i'm not repeating this so do not repeat and save I'm going to change the color to red so i'm just going to keep this very brief the essence of this video is just to show you how you can manage your calendar okay so this is how you add your details basically i don't want to bore you with all my information <laughs> okay so this is how you add your details so the next thing i want to show you now is how to use google calendar or integrate google calendar with google meet okay let's say i have a meeting on wednesday by 3 p.m this is how you plan it basically just duplicate this duplicate this i'll duplicate this and i'll call this meeting meeting with mira okay so this meeting is from this meeting is going to last from 3 p.m to let's see 3 30 3 30 p.m don't repeat this is where you can integrate google meet all right and you also have the option to add the details or the description of the meeting right here okay you can also add a notification right 10 minutes add the location obviously this is online so let's just click on add google meet conferencing click on save the next thing I want to show you now is scheduling appointment. This is a new feature on Google Calendar. I normally use Calendly to schedule my appointment. But Google Calendar is making a move and I think it's promising. All right, so let's say I have an appointment by 7 p.m. on Thursday. I'm gonna come here. So instead of going ahead, filling all of this for an event or a task, I'm going to be clicking appointment schedule. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. and then I'll click on this little icon here to edit my appointment. This meant with Mira. Why am I obsessed with that name? Okay, so this is going to last for one hour. I'm not repeating this. Do not repeat. 
is for one day do not repeat it this is how you schedule an appointment okay here you can fix the appointment settings you can decide if the guest let's say mira if she can add other guests go through all of this all right so is it an in-person meeting phone call we are going to be using google meet so google meet is going to be there you can add a description of the meeting the booking form this is the booking form the booking form contains the person's first and last name email address you can also add other items right here you can add any item you want customize it and decide if it's required meaning the person has to fill it before the person can submit the form all right there is also option for payments but this is for premium you can see why i said that google is making a move <laughs> and i'm here for it i think i like it Okay, this is really good so just assume I've done all I need to do for my appointment so this is it this is my appointment yes click here to share with the person let's also open the appointment booking page sure so this is what it looks like okay so that's it remember you can create as many calendars as you want by just clicking the plus icon right here you can create a calendar for your personal life you can create a calendar for your job your professional life i can create my content calendar from here if i want to but i use Airtable for my content calendar let me show you what it looks like yay this is my calendar this is my content calendar so i have here brain dumb scripting filming seo completed okay so that's a friend if you find value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up share with your friends and families and if you're yet to subscribe again click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you have any questions at all leave them in the comment section and as always i will definitely respond to you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one